Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney, if you don't know me already, and I'm from New Zealand. In today's video, we're gonna check out a video from Singapore today. So this video is becoming a Singapore Armed Forces Elite Soldier. So I assume this is going to be following around recruits, I guess, as they're going through the training phase in Singapore. This is the first time I've ever watched anything Singapore related. So if you are from Singapore or if you have any videos about Singapore that you want me to react to, please leave them down below. I would love to check them out. But without any further ado, let's get into today's video. The alarm. Damn, there's some good camouflage right there. The next 72 hours will push these soldiers to their limits. These commando trainees are about to take on the 72, the last exercise they need to complete before they earn the, I'm guessing it's for 72 hours. Oh man, they're gonna be wet, cold. March 72 kilometers, 72 hours. While completing combat, oriented tasks in between oh man see is it only me Wow! They're just like walking through the streets. They're just walking through the streets, you guys. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the next day. Distance completed 50 kilometers. Oh, they must I'm feeling be very dead. Uh, driven to complete it. But <gasps> when it first started, right, it wasn't a good start for me, honestly, mm. because within the first 4km, right, I already had blisters on my feet. Oh. We're just counting down the number of km we have left to march and the hours left. And the activities also lined up so far left are not that many, so we are actually quite excited. Uh. I want to see me and my fellow brothers get a red berry tomorrow. Uh, this is the only dream motivating factor that I have right now. And the fact that standing in front of my family members with the red berry is something which I've, want, I've been wanting to do since enlistment day. Good on you. Crossing water obstacle. Being oh a commando gosh. is traditionally always associated with uh, elements of fitness and combat fitness. But we look beyond that at more intangible factors. Like mental strength. The ability to learn. Learning is our mm, operational capability. Ability to the learn. The last one is um, a sense of purpose in every individual. Because if commandos uh, do not have a sense of purpose, uh, then it becomes very difficult to motivate them uh, in tough times. That's true. Boat training. And this is all done on very minimal sleep, so... I can't believe they're just walking down normal street. <laughs> Oh, no. Create yet another important milestone in your NS journey. Or you're building a sense of the warrior on this completion of the excellent group. It is definitely not, not the end of the challenges that you're facing. <laughs> to be emotional country, today. <laughs> it's only the beginning of the tour of duties at the conference. The Red Beret is not simply a big dress. It is more than that. The Red Beret symbolizes our formation and it captures the essence so go of duty, to the ceremony. honor, bravery, <laughs> sacrifice, and glory. We need to earn the right to wear the red berry every <laughs> single day. Hold yourself to these higher standards. The support of family and loved ones is important. The soldiers before us are the defenders of this country. They have trained hard with discipline. You can count on them, the best Singaporean son. 
to stand and put their safety and freedom oh, others above their own. After all, you are the written next Wow, I can't you know believe they go straight for, to and that makes their heart training the ceremony. And Continue to fly our commander flag high both inside and outside of camp. And I look forward to walk this journey for honor and glory. So I assume it's only men, right, in Singapore Army? Is there only men in Singapore military? Oh wow, so in Singapore it's compulsory for male citizens and permanent residents upon turning 18. Wow, I didn't know that they had a mandatory military, military service. So I'm guessing they're in for a couple of years. Oh, so they've got women serve with distinction in the military, but as volunteers. So that's the so that's the difference. Very interesting. If you guys want to let me know anything more about the Singapore military, please leave a comment down below. If you do want to, it would be super interesting. Um, this is the first time I've ever reacted to anything Singapore, so please let me know down below if you do want to. Thank you guys so much for watching with me today. That was super, super interesting. Um, if you do have any video recommendations, do just leave them down below in the comment section. Essentially any video from around the world, any country, um, I just want to learn more on this channel and bring you guys along with me. So if there's any country that you're interested in, um, or if you want me to react to your country particular video, please just leave it down below in the comments and hopefully I can do it as soon as possible. If you see a video recommendation written down below, please like the comment so I know more than one person wants me to watch it so I can see the most popular video recommendation at that moment is. Um, that will make it super helpful for me and I can react to videos that you guys want to see the most. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching with me today. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.